When we look back in history, we'll see that the Jewish people have greatly impacted the world that we know today in many different ways, from cultural practices, science, politics, media, as well as finances, Jews have left their mark. So who are some of the Jewish people that have had a significant and lasting influence in our world? Hey everyone, welcome back to FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and for this episode, I'm specifically going to be listing 10 of the most influential Jewish people or people of Jewish descent and affiliation throughout history. Now we start off this list at number 10, we have David Ben Gurion. David Ben-Gurion was the first Prime Minister of Israel, and his passion for Zionism led him to become very instrumental in the founding of the State of Israel. After leading Israel to victory in the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, Ben-Gurion helped build the state institutions, and he also oversaw the absorption of a massive amount of Jews from all over the world. David Ben-Gurion was named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Important People of the Century. Moving on to number 9, we have Niels Bohr. Niels Henrik David Bohr was a Danish physicist, but he's also ethnically Jewish on his mother's side. He made fundamental contributions to the understanding of atoms as well as to the understanding of quantum mechanics, for which he received the Nobel Prize for in physics in the year 1922. He was also part of the team of physicists who worked on the Manhattan Project. And if you're not familiar with that term, that was the code name for the research and development tasks during World War II that produced the first nuclear weapons. Niels Bohr is regarded as one of the most influential physicists of the 20th century. From there, we move on to number eight. We have Elie Wiesel, the Holocaust survivor Eliezer or Eli Wiesel he gained worldwide recognition as a witness to the Holocaust. So in his works, he wrote about surviving in concentration camps and the inhumanity that he witnessed on a day-to-day -day basis. At the age of just 15 years old, he was separated from his mom and his sister at Auschwitz and he never saw them again. Eli Wiesel dedicated his life to writing about Judaism, the experiences of the Holocaust, as well as the moral responsibility of everyone to fight all forms of inhumanity. From there, we look at Baruch Despinoza. Baruch or Benedict Despinoza was a Dutch philosopher of Portuguese Jewish descent. Now, the scope and the importance of Baruch Despinoza's work wasn't really fully realized until the years after he passed away. Now today he's considered to be one of the great rationalists of the 17th century when it comes to philosophy and he laid a lot of the groundwork for the 18th century enlightenment as well as modern biblical criticism. On top of that he's also considered one of western philosophy's most important philosophers. Next up on this list is a man that you probably all have heard of, Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud was born Sigismund Shalomo Freud to Gaelican Jewish parents, and he was an Austrian psychiatrist who founded the psychoanalytical branch of psychology. Freud is best known for his theories of the unconscious mind and the defense mechanisms of repressing memories, and is also known for creating the clinical practice of psychoanalysis for curing psychopathology through dialogue. Freud is also known for his controversial redefinition definition of sexual desires as the primary motivational energy of human life and his therapeutic techniques. Halfway in at number five, we have Maimonides. Moses Maimonides, also known as the Rambam, well, he was a Jewish rabbi, a physician, as well as a philosopher in Spain, Morocco, and Egypt during the Middle Ages. He was pretty much the top medieval Jewish philosopher whose ideas also influenced a lot of the non-Jewish world. One of the central teachings of Maimonides philosophy is that it is impossible for the truths arrived at by human intellect to contradict those revealed by God. Now, although his works on Jewish law and ethics were initially met with a whole lot of opposition during his lifetime, he was later, well, after he passed away, acknowledged as one of the foremost philosophers in Jewish history. And today, his work and his views are considered a cornerstone of Jewish thought and study. Now, I couldn't do this episode without mentioning Albert Einstein. He's at number four. He's one of the most referenced people on this list. 
Albert Einstein was a German-born theoretical physicist, and he was born into a family of Ashkenazi Jews. He, of course, is best known for his theory of relativity and specifically mass energy equivalence, E equals mc squared. That's also the most famous equation of the 20th century. Einstein had received the 1921 Nobel Prize in Physics, and I quote, for his services to theoretical physics, especially for his discovery of the law of photoelectric effect. Einstein published over 300 scientific works in his lifetime and over 150 non-scientific works. And in the year 1999, Time Magazine named him the person of the century. Also nowadays, the name Einstein has become synonymous with the word genius. Number three brings us Abraham. Well, technically he was the biological progenitor of the Jewish people, but he is often classified as the first Jew. Either way, Jewish, Christian, and Muslim traditions view Abraham as the father of the Israelites, as well as the Ishmaelites, and also the Edomite people. He is also widely regarded as the patriarch of Judaism and also the founding father of monotheism. Abraham can also be translated as father of a multitude. And on top of that, originally his name was Abram, but it was changed by God to Abraham. But Abram meant high or exalted father. Definitely a fitting name. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam are often referred to as the Abrahamic religions because of the significance of Abraham in their religion. For his recognition of God as the supreme deity, Abraham was blessed and promised countless offspring. Number two brings us Moses. Moses was a prophet as well as a messenger in Jewish, Christian, and Islamic religions. He was of the Israelite tribe Levi who was given the Torah by God which included the Ten Commandments. But for the most part, Jew, the term, I just want to clarify this, later on it became a term that was used for all Israelites, including those from the tribe of Levi like Moses. Either way, Moses was born into a Hebrew family and he was then adopted into the Egyptian royal family. And then God used Moses to unleash 10 plagues on Egypt and he led the Hebrew slaves out of Egypt and that's where he performed the very famous parting of the Red Sea. We end this episode off at number one, we have Jesus. Out of Abraham and Moses, Jesus is the one specifically from the lineage of Judah where we get the term Jew from. Jesus is the founding figure in Christianity and Christianity is a religion that shaped Europe as well as much of the world and Christianity is the largest religion today and of course is still making an impact in the world. The main sources of information regarding the life of Jesus and his teachings are in the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John of the New Testament of the Bible. But most critical scholars believe that these ancient texts on Jesus' life are partially accurate. They also generally accept that he was crucified in Jerusalem and that he was Jewish and a very influential teacher. Either way, because of the impact of Jesus, the amount of times that he is referenced, the role that he has in the largest religion in the world, as well as other religions, that puts him in the number one spot in this episode. So there you have it, guys. This was a look at 10 of the most influential Jewish people in history. Let me know what you thought of this episode. Sound off down below in the comments. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and also if this is your first time here at FTV Facts subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when new videos are posted. Until next time guys stay awesome stay educated and I'll see you soon.